Well, especially back then, Mint was definitely a big thing people recommended. It was either Lint, uh, Mint 17 or 18. I'm not sure exactly which one. Mm -hmm. um, but they had, you know, several like 17.1, 17.2, 17.3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure exactly where it fell in there. But overall, I was like, you know, when you first get into something like Linux and you're a noob, much like me today, um, <laughs> you get to the point where you're like, is this the best there is? Because I want to use the best there is. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when you watch a lot of the YouTube, especially several years ago, I think there's more diversity now, but it was like arch, you know, arch based distros arch was like King for YouTubers. And so I was like, okay, well, let me, let me do that. So I would try <laughs> arch for, and, 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 and actually um, I'm sure you probably know this guy. I don't think he's put out a video in more than a year or so. Mm -hmm. Uh, EF, uh, Linux made simple. Yes, yes, was, I do know uh, the name. Yes, yeah, um, er Erano. I'm going to butcher his name, but um, Ermano or Erano Ferrari, and I would like he would put out these videos once a month that showed how to install Arch, mm -hmm. um, and it was like, oh, dude, he was. I was fascinated, so I would I would copy him basically, and but then I got to the point where I'm like. I can't get my freaking um, scanner to work on Arch. I can't, and it's because it's a really old scanner. I can't get my printer to work on Arch. And I'm like, so I installed Debian and it worked like that. You know, Which it was version just like, of Debian was it at the time? Um, it was, what's before, what's before Bullseye? Ooh, um, someone's going to comment it. Uh, Debian releases. Let's have a look. Debian releases. Do, do, do. Uh, Buster. Buster. There you go. So I was on Buster and, you know, everything worked. And and not to mention all of the, um, you know, even Linux Mint worked as well as like Zubuntu and a lot of the, you, you, you know, the Ubuntu based distros, um, which, which are Debian. Um, but when it comes right down to it, I just wanted something stable. I just wanted something that worked so that I could get my work done. And, and I was such a, I hated Linux. I'm oh, sorry. I hated Windows rather with a passion. So I was like, I've got to get out of here because I could not stand like the Metro design and all that other crap. It was just brutal to me. So, so that's how I got started. During Windows 10 or was it late Windows 8? No, I, I think actually they, was it 8? I, I think it was 8. Don't remember when um, 10 came out. Yeah, ten. Well, it was before that because I didn't like Vista either. For that, ten came matter. out in you twenty. Know, I, ten came out in twenty fifteen. Yeah. Okay, sure. I didn't realize it was that old. Yeah. So when I looked at, um, you know, when I started thinking, this is this is not for me. I just can't do this anymore. Especially the the design got worse and worse and worse. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I that's when I made the switch, and um, and I and I've been a big advocate ever since. When you had issues with printing and scanning on Arch, why didn't you go back to Mint? Why why go to Debian? Um, because it was new. I think it was one of those things where I was like, okay, well, let me try something new. And in my head, I was thinking, do I need all these other packages? Mm -hmm. Do I? I because I want to stay as light as possible. So I, I probably ended up very likely on XFCE anyway, you know, on Debian XFCE, because I didn't understand window managers at all at that point. And it was only until like, I am a big BSPWM fan. And I knew that you were, what, three years ago, maybe? I don't even know. Three, three years Probably. ago? I still like it. It's just, I... Look, if I'm going to talk about how great Wayland is, you know, someone's going to be know. using it and going to be saying how broken it still is. No, I get you. I just thought I, I couldn't remember. I mean, I, you've been on. Yeah, um, it's, it's like two or three years. That's about right. Yeah. But I still use BSPWM. <laughs> I'm not, I'm like, I switch between BSPWM and DWM right now. Okay. Between the two. I, and I'm, because I've been, because I did a whole video on DWM, how to install, and I did like six or six, seven packages, maybe eight. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, this is great. This is exactly what I'm looking for. And it's really snappy. And, and, but at the same time, I really have a hard time not going to BSPWM 
for whatever reason. I just, it's just like home, mm -hmm. you know? But uh, I did do a video though on Hyperland <laughs> mm -hmm. because it's really challenging to do that with Debian and the older packages. Um, right, right. So you have to go to testing. You absolutely, there's no way you can do it on Debian stable, mm -hmm. which is where I live. Debian stable is like basically where I live. So um, the only Wayland, you know, you can run Sway in mm -hmm. Debian stable. Do they, I think they have a Sway package, don't they? They do. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, Sway's yeah, a lot, a lot more conservative with its changes. So, it does like obviously Debian is Debian, and it's very, very slow moving. You probably yeah. could run a really old version of Hyperland, but you would be stuck on that old version for quite a while. And considering how slow moving it is, oh, sorry, how fast moving our Hyperland is, like you might end up just being stuck on a buggy branch for a really, really long time. The because a lot of times when I do an installation video, like I did an installation video for Hyperland, I write a bash script that helps people kind of like go through and automate the process, right? Right, and so you know, it's like okay, you start with this, which is Debian testing, and then you download this script and let it run, and then it will install all of these dependencies necessary to run it. But I had to pin it because I had to pin it at that point, and I'm not sure exactly where we were in, because uh, I know that Hyperland is up to like 40.1 maybe, or 0 0.40.1 or- uh, Yeah, there's still anyway, a zero at the front. Yeah, it's something along those yeah, lines. Yeah, it's 0.40 something, I think. Yeah, zero. it's on 0 0.40. Okay, so, but I had to pin it to version 0 0.35 okay. at that time in order to get it to work. Now, I, did, I haven't even tried to do it beyond that because other people have said, hey man, you want to you try to do an update video on that? And uh, I'm like, you know what? I think I'll stick to these like 15 year old window managers on my channel for a, just a little while because people, I really thought I'm doing this like, I have six videos uh, recently mm -hmm. that are open box and uh, JWM and so on. And, and I thought there's going to be like four views on them, you know, <laughs> literally there's going to be like four people interested in 15 year old, um, window managers mm -hmm. that are not tiling window managers, but basically, you know, floating window managers. So, or stacking, whatever mm -hmm. you want to call it. And, um, but it's, it's actually had a deep for me, you know, for me, it's had a decent like viewership. 